Welcome to drawing session 21. Today I'm going to be drawing Nemo. So let's get started. I'm first going to start with a circle and then a circle around that and then a smaller circle on the upper right side here, leaving space in the center and coming over here I'm going to draw another circle on this side and a circle around that and again same thing, smaller circle on the upper right side and then we're just going to draw a line all the way around getting a little closer as I come toward this the um, side here and then on the other side it's a little further away in in space same thing on this in the in the um, middle here it's a little closer and then as I get toward the outside here it's a lot wider in space there coming right below this eye we're going to indicate a curved line for the mouth and then bringing it back around, kind of like a crescent shape, bringing it up. And then right on the top here, I'm going to indicate another line that comes curved around for his teeth. And then I'm just going to shade that area in because that's going to be the opening of his mouth. I'm also going to shade in the uh, portion for his eye here, his pupil on this side and also on this side as well. Right, coming back to this side of his um, face, his body, we're going to make a line that comes up at a diagonal and then across to the top. We're going to do another one parallel up and as I come up toward this it's going to be a little wider and come extend a little higher and then a, a little wider on the top here as well. I'm going to bring this line all the way down and around along this side of his eye and this is going to be for the whole shape of his, his face and all the way back up and around to this side here. Let's bring these lines down so it can meet this area here. All right, on this side, I'm going to make his large fin, which is going to come from the side here of his face, diagonally up, and then curve it all the way around, and then just curve it back in toward his the side of his face. And we're going to indicate a line that goes around the edge of his fin. All right, on this side, this is where his smaller fin is going to be. So right where this line ends, kind of a little higher, right about here, we're going to draw a curved line out and up, bring it in a little, give it a little zigzag line, and then bring it around, and then back in toward his body. And the outside edge again gets this little wavy detail line. All right, coming back up to the top, we're going to draw a curved line around for the top part of his body. And then his fin, which comes up, curves around, and back down, a little wider as I come toward the base, um, line to separate his two fins, so it's going to be a line across, and then another line that comes up and around, like this, and then here we're going to indicate a curved line out this way for his tail, so all the way out, and then bring this around, curve it around and down, and then I'm going to bring a curved line, kind of upside down curved line, slightly upside down curved line in, and then just bring it back in to meet the rest of his body. Let's separate his tail. So we're going to use a uh, curved line that comes down. It's kind of where the you can see kind of where we started to bend that line there um, for his tail. Another line here. And then also we're going to make some detail lines along the ridge of his fins. This one we're actually going to go all the way around the ridge of his fin. Same thing on this side a little bit more. I'm going to indicate a darker line. And that's going to be filled in dark, so that's okay if we kind of have some lines in between. Um, and then here we're going to make a line, another stripe, this part in the center here. So I'm going to come down and follow it all the way down to about here. And same thing on this side. So here, kind of parallel and a little wavy. It doesn't have to be exactly straight. Comes down just about there. All right, let's have a 
line around the edge of his tail fin here as well. Also, we're going to indicate some detail lines for the contour of his fin. So these are lines that kind of follow along the contour. So if I come this way, the contour is following this way, and it gives it a little more curvature as I work around. As I come to this side of the fin, it's going to follow that side of the fin. This smaller fin is not the same. It has some um, just different various lines that kind of just extend out like that. His top fin, again, follow those cur uh, contour lines and as well as his tail. So you can see I'm kind of just rounding these lines out. And as I come here, it's gonna round and follow this contour line to the edge. I'm gonna bring these all the way out, extend them just like that. All right, let's continue by adding some, some color. I'm first gonna use a black colored pencil and shade in this area around the, the edge of his fin. And all of his, the, all the edges of his fins get this uh, black design color. As well as his tail. and the edge of a small fin and a little right here on this zigzag area there all right i can fill in the mouth a little better okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start adding some orange to nemo and i'm going to start with his larger fin and just kind of start to shade this in here for his fin on the top of his body. Again, going along in between these stripes. The stripes are going to be white. They're outlined with black, but they are going to be white. So um, just avoid going into that space because we'll, if we cover over it and, you know, white is kind of hard to, um, to cover over the color. Uh, so I'm gonna go around his eye area. along the edge of his face and the bottom of his face. And around his eye area on this side. Along the top of his mouth. And then in the center here, I'm gonna kind of use a little less pressure as I work toward the center and up the, in this area here, uh, in this area because it's a little lighter um, tone in value. It's kind of where the light hits. So we'll show a little bit of value on this as well as we did with Dory. If you have followed along with Dory, um, we added some tints and shades, some light areas and darker areas to indicate where the light is. All right, also his tail gets this orange color. I'm just going to kind of fill that in, like so. All right, his eyes also get this orange color, the iris part of his eye, where the color is. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to my white colored pencil. I'm first going to start with the highlight, and then the area around the iris. If you are using a white colored pencil for this, just be sure not to get the orange color on the stripe um, and in the eye area. Okay, bring that up. And then this area here along his tail. So now I'm gonna go back and just highlight some areas. So this, all this space here is a little lighter in value in between uh, his eyes. That's where kind of more light is and underneath 
his eye here and his cheeks are highlighted. And that's just showing where the value is and where the light is touching most. Also underneath his mouth. And then on kind of the edge, toward the edge of his fin here is more highlighted. Showing his tail as well in the center area. A lot of light is hitting through here. So just highlighting that, the top of his fin here, and then along this ridge. And put a little highlight above this area here. So that kind of brings out the value. Um, what I'm going to do now is just take my black colored pencil and thicken up some of these lines. So I'm going to thicken up this stripe on him. Really makes it stand out a bit more. And I'll also outline the whole shape of Nemo. So what this does, as I outline, it kind of cleans up the edges here. So if I did go out of the line with the orange a little bit, I can kind of hide it by going over it with my black colored pencil. And it, it just really cleans up, cleans up the drawing. Little artist trick. All right, bringing this line all the way around. And again, just thickening up these stripes. Okay, and I can always go back and just add a line around his eyes, kind of emphasize those a little bit more, make those really stand out. And broaden up these detail lines here. Because we covered a lot with the color. I right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun to draw. Give them a try. Bye.